You see this, right? This thing really did just turn off this light right here. Now this one is a... What is happening, bro? Stop! Stop doing... Bro, come back on, bro. I'm not doing this, okay? Th bro. Hi, bro. Frick that freaking light. If the light don't like me, I don't like the light. It's that simple. Am I right? Anyways, we're back. Episode number three of Firewatch. Now, let's recap, because it's been a while. It really has been a while. We're on day two, but this is episode three, because the first episode, if you didn't watch it, it was the intro. Go watch the other episodes if you really haven't watched it. I mean, if you haven't watched the other episodes, you literally won't know what's going on. But let me, let me recap for the people that do know what is going on. So if you remember, we went into that lake. There were some teenagers. They were pissing us off. Uh, with, with fireworks, so then we piss them off. I mean, it really is that simple. Can I put it in the water? It's expensive. Fucking cool it with the. You, you asshole! <laughs> Light another firework, and it won't be your stereo Iraq. And then we traversed back into our tower, which ended up being vandalized. Somebody broke the window, took the sheets, put everything everywhere. Somebody effed us up, bro. Why do I have my phone? Why do I have my phone here? We're, bro, we're playing Firewatch, okay? Do not distract me. Okay, and today we are gonna hopefully get some clues to figure out who did this because bro I will grab a shotgun out of one of those random cases in the woods and I'll body whoever did this bro All right boys, so we woke up and We got a we got a reply. I, I forgot what she said. I know we um we watched the little cut scene um, at w When the last episode ended and I forgot what she said, but I do remember that we were extremely cold because as you can see the windows open they stole our freaking bed sheets and all this stuff we still have our, our forest guy over here we still have our, our glass cleaner and i'm yeah we, we still have our dish soap so that's good what all right let, let's see what i gotta say all right awake. i'm awake I'm awake what's your problem our problem right, what's your problem sorry our problem that storm knocked out the phone line i used to talk to the service which means we're cut off I tried okay. radioing out, and that's not working either. There's no backup. I mean, can I go fix it? Should I be worried? We've had issues with the radios going um, out in this area before. Yeah, no let's backup? ask if there's no backup. The backup really is feel the like two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? Okay. It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yeah, Yours go do that. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, okay I can do that. Where is it? Survey Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Alright. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Gotcha! Wait. It's Henry. Oh yeah, it is Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, huh? I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, alright. It... well, thanks... Wait, what is this photo with Julia? Wait, what? Oh, so this is what I look like! We now know exactly what I look like! We saw myself in the drawing, but it wasn't like an exact picture. Now we know exactly what I look like. You are so beautiful to me. Let's do it. Day three. We out here. Oh yeah, we gotta find some some communication wires or something. I, I don't know. So, something to do with wires and fixing something. My question is, what exactly do I do? God dang, that's a huge hike. So we gotta go somewhere this way? <laughs> bro, you're trash, bro. Bro, you're trash, bro. <laughs> bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, where exactly do I go? Why am I so bad at this? Okay, okay, so I really just have to go here. Okay, I think I'm going the right way. What is this? Fallen tree. Ooh, that wind last night actually tore up some trees near my tower. Dang. I know, I right? About the Ugh, it's out of this world. Now, imagine we had a big fire burning. Yeah. Yeah, that would suck. Jesus. It's something else. I've seen a still evening kick up 45 mile an hour winds in no time. If that happens this summer, you'll really be in for it. I hope it doesn't happen this summer, but I mean, if we're being honest, it's, it's kind of going to have to because, I mean, that's the whole point of the game. You know, <laughs> something has to happen, you know? Um, I think I'm going the right way. Hopefully I don't see those kids again because, bro, that was creepy. Cold morning fog, cold morning fog. Okay. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Should have brought a jacket. That. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, talk about bucket, 
Talk about Julia. Talk about your favorite bar. Let's talk about bar. Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. I chose him. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. All right. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? What? What's happening? Okay, good. Julia? No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm gonna listen. Any idea of what? I'm absolutely sure. What? Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Huh? Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like... I don't know. Like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. Everything's fine. It's not your business. She's sick and I shouldn't be here. Uh, Everything's, everything's fine. fine. Just, you know, we're taking what some What the hell was that time call about, bro? Getting some fresh air. A little change. Yeah. All right. Well, we can just leave it at that. Yes, we can. And I should have asked about the call, but it would have obviously been like, oh, I was eavesdropping and I don't want to... I don't want to say that I was eavesdropping to Jul uh, to her right now. What the frick was that, bro? I know I base Like, what? He doesn't know? Yes, I'm absolutely sure? What do you mean I don't know? What did I... What? Did... Did they vandalize my stuff? This is pissing me off, bro. I don't know where to go. I swear, this happens every time. Alright, so I'm down here now, I think, right? This should be it. Yeah, okay. Oh, see, I wasn't able to go past that. I think it was because I was having a conversation with her, and it just didn't... Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, this is the cave that I was in. This is the cave. This is the weird cave. I don't like this cave. I don't like this cave. I really don't. I... No, we're not gonna even rattle that again. We played around with, uh... What's her name again? <laughs> this thing nope. is trash! Anything happened in here? The antler's still in here. I should probably close that. I swear I closed it. I know I closed it. That closed every uh, all of them. This game's very open, um, which is great, but it also kind of makes me mad because I don't really know where to go. It is great though because you know you have a map. You 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 know where to go. You just you know I just suck. So oh. I hung a left out of the cave and I'm passing through Thunder Canyon now. I'm not seeing uh, any I wires in here. Oh no 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 no! It sounds like you turn east towards Jonesy Lake. Look, from the cave, you just want to come out and go straight to the north. Got it. So I'm going the wrong way. Fun. So you go this way. I swear, if one of those teenagers pops out, bro, I'm going to figure out the freaking combos like it's Tekken, bro. Now, where is one of those wires? Because that's what I got to do, right? I got to find a, a wire or something? What? what? What do I have to do? Oh, wires. Okay. Um, let's find a fallen one. This game is so fun, and it's so pretty. I mean, look at this. All right, utility rope. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. All right, got it. All right, so, um, I've never been here. Where exactly are we? Let me, uh, let me check. I mean, I think they have marked this place. The wind. The wind. That is not cool, bro. Is that a house? Don't say. Oh, that uh, Hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Cool. Whoa. Uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, <laughs> I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. What the frick? Why is there an old cabin? Is this game a horror game? Uh, I'm gonna open this first. I'm guessing you know, this one, like, it looks worn out. Like, you can even tell. Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this nice. gig. I have it on now. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through a war, you probably can't get enough silence. Huh. Ooh, butterfly! Hey! Hey! Anything 
I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, yeah, you, then. No, 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 you have to answer me. Oh, no. Bro, why does this... <laughs> bro, this feels like some Resident Evil type stuff, bro. There's no way she just doesn't answer me as soon as I get to an old cabin. No, why, why am I scared, bro? I played an endless amount of horror games, okay? Stop! But I'm not, I'm not gonna be scared, bro. Because th this isn't a horror game, okay? Examine. Destroyed guitar. Interesting. Drop. Okay, I probably should drop it there. Cigarette boxes. Okay, burnt pit. Old stove. <laughs> Do not do that, Tenry! My God! Oh my God! What a view, though! Oh my God! Why do I feel like I'm gonna come up here and there's gonna be an old granny or something, or one of those kids just traps me in there? All right, we're never going back in there. I'm running. I'm running for a little bit. All right, I see a I see a supply box all the way down there. Wait, what? Thoroughfare lookout. You wake up pretty early. Can you see the wire? Can you see the communication wires from where you are? Oh, that's the Lila's hour. That's her name, Delilah. Okay, but I have I no that. idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk okay. along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. All right. I really could just talk to you her. You wake up pretty or early go then, huh? Go over there As soon as the it. sun comes up, Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. Huh. Okay. I just covered my head with my pillow. It seems to do the trick. <laughs> wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm learning. You know, this is only my third day on the job, and my, my stuff's already vandalized. I mean, can you blame me, bro? I just got here, and I'm already getting bodied by the wilderness, bro. I just went into an old cabin and almost pissed my pants. It's bad! All right, let's copy down the information. Let's go. Always love that. Um, we'll talk about that note in a second. See, can we talk about something while I look at stuff? Huh? What the frick? What's this? Six feet under. Six feet down under Richard Sturgeon. Okay. Alright, another note. We've talked about this. Dave, hey yo! I got your note about needing to talk. And sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyways. We're co-workers, you know? Amigos, professionales. If you need someone to throw a, a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it? Later. Ron. So we've kind of been um, keeping track of this mini other storyline of, of these guys. Ron and Dave, right? That, that, that was their names. And they've been kind of talking through notes. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Here it is. Could find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. <laughs> Beers? I don't like this. What? What is this noise? Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Uh, yep. Yeah, These same as fucking before. kids. I know, right? Uh, why do you think they'd be up here? Why do you think yeah. they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Yeah, I hope they're not the ones that did this, which, let's be honest, they're definitely the ones that did this. I mean, beer cans right there. I mean, it's, it's evidence right there. Oh my god. Watch one of them be up here. Why is the rope getting tugged? Okay. Weird. Let me take all the beer cans. Freaking littering. You know littering? Like, you can actually, like, get in big trouble for littering. Go to hell? I see hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. Yeah, it does. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think 
I want you oh, to just God. find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. Okay. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold True. your breath. True. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Right. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Bro, these teens, they weird. And they scary. And I don't like them at all. And if I'm being honest, I don't even want to be here. I want, I want to go back to my tower. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to our tower. She said, go back to your tower and keep an eye out for them. That's what I'm going to do. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Yeah. Mm, that is a pickle. It is. I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Oh, my God. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. Saw them last at the lake. Okay. How far is that? The lake's over there. Are you crazy? Wait, am I actually supposed to go back to the lake? You're kidding, right? I actually have to go, like, down here. Oh, my. Delilah, bro. This is why I don't like you, Delilah. You make weird phone calls. That apparently uh, have to do with me, or at least we think it has to do with me, because she said he doesn't know. But you know, might not have been about me. It's probably about me, though. Supply drop. What is this, Fortnite? What the frick? Supply drop. What, what exactly is that? What is a supply drop? Oh, okay. Green supply cash. Alright. Oh. What the frick? There's nothing here. Maybe that'll have, like, we'll actually have to do something with that later at some point in the story maybe we have to go back there and go get something or whatever i don't know all right so we're gonna keep following these signs what is that is that a bag why there's an abandoned pack out here yeah and it's not one of the teens no it looks like it was lost a long time ago yeah. well you could always pilfer it for supplies yeah what the freak Hammer. and rope well, I am flush with ropes now. That's cool. The pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's, That's cool. lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this! This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. Yeah. With pictures left. Yeah, he only yeah. used three or four. Neato. Yes, sir. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, All right. wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. This dude probably died, bro. That's weird. Look uh, out, Ranger X Lover. Was he a ranger or something? Oh no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks. Your lookout. Oh, my lookout. Dad Ned three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler <laughs> for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. All right. Uh, is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah. But I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For Brian, at least. Huh. Anyway, so it goes. It's a fossil cow. Have, uh, what the hell? fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. All right. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. <laughs> well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Okay. Uh, let's read this. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? Let's go! That's what I'm talking about, Ron. Turn up! No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron, going out with Debbie. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for LOs. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that ham hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the uh, deranged and perverted. Ugh. Except for us, of course. We're the creme, creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at, uh, at the spot. Okay. 
So, uh, it seems like our, our pals are, are doing okay. Um, I got enough rope to just leave these, so I can always go back up, so that's good. And I also have a camera, which I'm not going to use. I want to save my 18 pictures for whenever I, I can. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? No, uh, no not yet. Fence. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain-link fence? A chain-link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Yeah. Uh, that's weird. What do you mean, that's weird? Who are they keeping out? What are they keeping in? Could those girls be behind this fence? Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Yeah. jeez, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? I, I well, guess. they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. Huh. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't what is a you lichen to know? Oh my what god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. What is this place? From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Yeah. Mm, you're out by Mule Point. I am? No one okay. would camp out in the fireweed. Fun. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. Okay, we know this, these this young women are place, sloppy. Bro. They must have left some forest sort of trail. Is weird. This forest is making noises, and Henry doesn't like that. I can tell you that. Me and Henry, we not about this, Delilah. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Huh. Flapjack? Excuse me? Flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't. But I do now. <laughs> well, the next time you're at a yeah, bar and some that. banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Okay. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> bro, Delilah and Henry, they the goats, bro. They the goats. And also, look at me going down a mountain, not falling anymore. Y'all remember when I used to fall? Ah, good old times. Wait, thin? Oh, I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, yeah. The frick? Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Huh. Campfire. I don't like you that. You think it's them? It probably <sighs> I is. I reckon so. It looks they, like they it's had that the fire that had to southwest out. of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Oh, what? to. Keep an eye Bro. on that smoke plume. Let me know I have so many things larger. to do. We'll do. I'm gonna go to this freaking smoke. I'm gonna slap these teens across their forehead, and it's gonna be done. You better hear me, Dave. You crazy, dog. Man, I think I so bad. I'm <laughs> the smoke is like that way, so I think I'm. What's this? Stop! Stop with the music! Stop! It's weird, and it's uncalled for. Is somebody about to die? What's happening? Why are we with the music? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Can I get back home? Can I go back home? Can I go home? Can I go home? Bird, not now. What? Okay. This is very beautiful music. No, yes, yes, yes. This is nice. This is nice music. But uh, why? Um, I know I'm supposed to find the source of the smoke, but. Then again, I can always go back home for just a second, you know? Wait, what, are they, what if they're up here? No way, right? No way. Oh my god, you scared the hell out of me, bro! The frick? Weirdo. Alright, let me come in here for a second. Alright, so the reason I wanted to come up here is to see the smoke from up here. Because our watchtower, you know, we can see everything. So we see that the smoke is out towards the west. So we're gonna go ahead and go out there, find this smoke. Um, this doesn't seem like the right way. This sort of does. I'm glad that this is open world, though. Like, I, I really Just do so enjoy you know, it. I didn't mean to overstep my bounds oh, earlier. Earlier? When you brought up what? your wife. Oh. I know you didn't. You were just yeah, yeah, yeah. making conversation. I appreciate it. Yeah, you were just making the game fun for so, me to play. Thank tell you. tell me about her, if oh. you want. Okay. Um... She's a college professor. Wait, wait, She's a PhD me... in biology, evolution, and stuff. 
Yeah. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here. Where? Oh, yeah, this? it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds That's of years it? ago. There are lots of small Sick. ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Hell no. Oh, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Okay. Hey, I'm at the Medicine Wheel, and I can't see the smoke anymore. Where am I headed again? Well, I kind of can. Towards Five Mile Creek. It's in the southwest okay. quadrant of your map. Okay, five heading over there now. Creek. Oh, Five Mile... Oh, okay, over there. Delilah, I'm gonna be 100% once again. I think we should meet up, man. Or, not man, woman. I think we should, uh, should meet up. I actually think you should come down here and help me. You know, because, uh, I'm a rookie, and you're asking me to take out these teams. I mean, you've had experience. So, if anything, you should be I here. I you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Uh-huh, probably. Um, I yeah. Saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck? Yeah. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in <laughs> Yo, land. chill, bro. Uh, something like that. That's messed now, up. Now, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for oh, us to right, advertise right. for the job. Glad it worked. All right. What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that I know, nearly like, killed I me probably yesterday. You ready to give it another shot? Do I seriously have to? to get yeah, down we're already Mile doing Creek. it, Henry. Yeah, I, afraid so. I initiated the conversation it's quite a ways too downhill from here. Uh, okay. There was um a conversation going on, and I completely destroyed it by talking about something that was absolutely irrelevant. Sorry. All right, now that you've forgiven me, we're back on our track. And uh, I don't really know where the frick to go. I think I actually have to go down here. I remember asking about this. Yeah, I actually do. Okay. I remember asking about this um, earlier in the game. You know, if it makes you feel any better, oh. you're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. There was Vernon, oh, whose good. wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. And Sharon, oh. whose boyfriend had his own boyfriend. Maybe you boned the neighbor. Maybe she boned the neighbor. Maybe you both did. I don't judge. And if you ever want to talk breakups, I'm your gal. We didn't break up. Okay. We didn't choose to break up. She got sick. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Yeah, well, okay. we'll get into it. Not right well, now. Well, I'm in the headed meantime, towards a very spooky forest. You are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Thank you. That's a very nice quote. Escaping isn't always something bad. That was actually sick. Thank you, Delilah. I respect you a little bit. Still piss me off sometimes, though. What are we gonna find in here? Another note? No. What the frick? How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? Yeah, I really More do want to know. Unfortunately, with most of them being in this area, the thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Yeah. Age 31. Mitch Michaels. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. Lush words. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been hmm. taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Boy, for yeah. as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Yeah. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you cool. believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I'm. Uh, that's where I'm at. This is actually sick because I am learning a little bit of a little bit of something, I guess. Oh, music! I I can never tell if music in this game is a good thing or not. I really can't. Like this music specifically, I can't tell at all. Am I about to throw some hands with a 15-year-old female? 
Hey, what's to the south of here? Vista? Um, like view? Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but map, that's okay. probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Oh, that's why I said Vista, because Mexico, okay, so it's in Spanish. Okay. All right, we're gonna be, like the, the smoke is pretty much like right here. Oh, well, there we go. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Where y'all at, bro? You're a donut, you're so stupid. Where y'all at? Seems like it, I swear, they must've dragged four cases of beer out I'm here. Saying, Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. My sheets. Ah, found my sheets. We'll take them. So take they em. did break into your tower. They did. It looks like hose. I have entered the teen zone. <laughs> oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Yeah. What else? Case of These beer. girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, Stop they're it. impressive little shits, I guess. They really that is are. Some dedication. Dog. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? <laughs> it's another one of those magazines. Is that one of the girls? Oh my god, they placed that perfectly. You no, know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. They placed that stage, perfectly. Take whatever you want. Huh? You're psycho. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, did they get? Their tent is torn the up. Tent looks like it's been through the shredder. What could have done that? A bear. Like a, like a bear, or um, I don't know. It sounds crazy, but even a bull elk, if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay. Yeah. Let me know what it says. Okay. I hope you're effing happy. We're leaving, and we're going to find the police or whatever, and tell them about how you creeped i did not creep they were they were doing illegal things on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff oh and stealing panties is gross you're probably a mental effing axe murderer and are so going to jail i hope it was worth being a jerk over some uh fireworks dick first of all you did illegal things second of all I did my job. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? On the police. Yeah. I need to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No. No, well, hey, I didn't do I'm this. I'm not gonna talk okay, about someone the stereo. Or something <laughs> went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I did not yeah, assault I them. their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, yeah. I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay, I believe you. Hmm. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're true, gone. True, true. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. So I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I agree. Is it okay if I go back home? Oh, day three, day three. I, I genuinely did not want to have to hike all the way back home. Oh my god. Find boards downstairs past the window. No. <laughs> oh my god, this game. It is I'm sweaty. I'm sweaty because I've been I've been sitting here playing this game. You guys, I don't know how long this video is. It's probably like around 30 minutes. I've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes. Let's recap, as we always do. These teens, they F in with our communication systems. We went over there and we found out that it was cut there was a whole bunch of their beer cans but weirdly enough their tent is all torn up which let me just say there was some random dude at some point pointing a flashlight at me that dude could have ripped their stuff up because that note it seems like it's there and they took all their stuff back i guess they were like oh we're leaving why did you tear our stuff type of thing? I don't know. What if they're actually dead by a bear, bro? What if they're actually dead? This story is getting better and better and better. I freaking love this game. Like, I really do. This game is so sick. It's so hyped to play. Hope you guys are enjoying this series because I'm really enjoying recording this series. It really is fun. If you enjoyed this video, 
click that like button and click that subscribe button. Click those notifications so you don't miss another Firewatch video. And as always, that was me wasting your time. By the way, new merch drop, it's out right now. I mean, it's not a new merch drop, it's the first ever merch drop. Merch video is on the channel right now. Go check out the merch. Peace.